Okay, so it's Tuesday, June 26th. I am on my commute home at the end of a great work day. I wanted to take this second to reflect on everything that's happened over the past three and a half months or so because my team at Untold Content, we have just been really head underwater with this online course that we're creating, Wordsmith. It has been a remarkable, harrowing, challenging journey. Oh my goodness. So it's kind of funny looking back on it all. When we first concepted the course um, and started mapping out how long I thought it would take for our robust team of five full-time writers to pull this off, I thought, okay, we can do this in one month. After two days of project planning, I realized, no, it needed to be 60 days, definitely 60 days. After the first month, we really realized, like, this is more massive than we could have imagined. It needs to be three months. And here we are um, nearing the end of that three, three and a half month time frame. And <laughs> the last week has been just especially full of up and down emotions. So I thought I would make this quick podcast to share with anyone who is in the process of creating an online course or an online inf info product uh, so that you can kind of relate to this and, um, and kind of maybe take some heart in hearing uh, the emotions that I felt over this last week where things are really starting to come together in a massive way. So over the last week, we had a deadline for getting all content of the course uploaded into our platform, which is teachable. And it was really, really important to me to make sure my course was accessible and available to people uh, with a wide range of reading and writing styles and learning styles and with different levels of ability as well. So every single lesson in the course has a video lesson, a slide deck, an audio file, and um, a transcript. So all of those things make for a lot of moving parts that need to be perfectly coordinated. And our team has been unbelievably amazing at coming up with the content together, making sure um, that, that everything is, is working together. Um, at the end of the day, our course has five major modules. Each module includes five key lessons or tips is what we call them. And and it's been pretty amazing. So last Friday, we were supposed to have everything finished and uploaded to Teachable. But last Thursday night, it hit me that there is no way that that's going to happen. Um, the act of, you know, just going through all of these different steps for the first time, making our first online product, our first kind of um, evergreen product, it was amazing to me how difficult it was to anticipate um, how long certain things would take or how fast other things would go. So recording the voiceovers wasn't so bad, but going back and editing them took a lot of time. And of course, that step was a gatekeeping step. We couldn't make the video lessons until the voiceovers were complete, and we couldn't finalize the transcripts until the voiceovers were complete. Um, and sometimes in the process of editing a voiceover, we would realize that we needed to make some tweaks to the slide decks, maybe add a slide or move slides around a little bit so that um, to, to help things transition better. So anyway, last Thursday night, I had to come to grips with the fact that we were not going to have everything uploaded to Teachable by Friday. Here we are, it's the following Tuesday, and I actually finally see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is why I'm brave enough to record this podcast right now. <laughs> because before this moment, um, from really Thursday until earlier today, it felt like, oh my gosh, is this ever going to be completed? If you're also in the midst of creating an online product or an online training or a course, um, or just in the middle of a massive project that you couldn't have foreseen um, the ways in which it would grow or, or um, kind of evolve, then you can definitely relate to, uh, to these emotions that I've been experiencing. And I think it's completely normal and natural whenever you're taking on something new and you're putting yourself out there, you're putting your team out there uh, to try it, you know, it's 
the best thing we can do is plan as well as we can, but accept when deadlines need to change and when processes need to change. So looking back over the past four or five days, it's not that big of a deal that we are three days behind our initial estimate because my goodness, in the scheme of things, that's not so bad. But there is something incredible, uh, incredibly challenging around, you know, setting a goal and then watching it slip through your fingers. For me, for me personally, that can be very challenging. So um, anyway, I just wanted to give this encouragement in case you are in that exact moment to enjoy it as best you can, set a more realistic time frame, um, be optimistic, but be realistic. It's just this wonderful balance of optimism and realism that we have to face as project managers, as CEOs, as entrepreneurs, um, no matter what kind of product or project you're taking on. So all of that being said, Wordsmith is so close to being done. I am, I honestly feel like this was harder than writing my dissertation for my PhD. So, um, and maybe that's just me looking back and forgetting all of the emotions that went into that major project. But I think the level of coordination and collaboration among my consulting team has just been unbelievable to me. We've created together a product that I never in my wildest dreams could have done alone. And I'm really, really proud of, of what we've created and how it's, and I'm just, I'm starting now to finally be able to feel excited about what this means for the people who are going to be able to take this course and be transformed by it into better writers, into people who have uh, more confidence in their professional ability and their professional potential. Um, it's just going to be amazing to see how people are impacted by it. Certainly I have been personally, um, I know that I, I know that I know that my ways of project managing have just grown and gotten even stronger as a result of this experience. So I uh, hope you keep looking out for the course. It is going to launch on July 13th, which I can say that with quite a bit of confidence now, considering that we are literally uploading everything into Teachable tomorrow. And we're going through after that a week and a half or so of um of pilot testing with some incredible people in the community who have offered to give us feedback on the course, make sure that it's perfect before we go live. So that's the update from Untold Content. Whatever you're doing today, I hope you do it by giving yourself grace and hustling as hard as you can while also setting realistic expectations. Have a good one.